Hello dear students. Today in this video we are going to understand a new topic and the topic is prepositions. Now children let us understand first what is a preposition. So a preposition is a word or group of words that shows the relationship of a noun or a pronoun to some other word in a sentence. Here you can also understand with the word preposition which means that it shows the position and it is used just before a noun or a pronoun to show where is it placed. Children, I hope the definition of preposition is clear to all of you. Yes? So now we are going to understand the different prepositions through illustrations. The first preposition we are talking about is in. The rat is in the hole. The bat is in the kit. The toys are in the basket. The pens are in the stand. The colors are in the box. So, you have seen how we have used the preposition in in the different sentences. Next, we will understand the preposition on. Now, let us see how is it used. The cat is on the table. The rat is on the chair. The pen is on the floor. The remote is on the cabinet. The fruits are on the table. So, we have understood how the preposition on is used. Next, we will understand under or beneath. The cat is under the table. The rat is beneath the chair. The book is beneath the bed. The dustbin is under the desk. The lion is sitting under the tree. Next is preposition over. The naughty cat jumped over the table. The monkey jumped over the pond. The bird flew over the river. The aeroplane is flying over the building. The aeroplane is flying over the river. The clouds are floating over the building. The horse jumped over the fence. Children, I hope you all have understood the preposition over and how the word over is used in the different sentences. Next, we will understand the preposition between. The cat is sitting between two boys. The boy is sleeping between the trees. The horse is standing between two zebras. The horse is standing between two zebras. The cat is sitting between the boys. Children, now we will understand the preposition among. The cat is sitting among many caterpillars. Children, there is a difference between the usage of among and between. So, when there are two objects, we use the preposition between. And when there are more than two objects, then we use the preposition among. So, you can see the difference here. The yellow ball is lying among many blue balls. The girl is standing among many flowers and butterflies. The lion is sitting among his cubs. When we use among when there are more than two objects and we use between when there are two objects. The difference between among and between is clear to all of you? Yes students, now we will understand the preposition beside. The cat is sitting beside the chair. The rat is beside the cheese. 
The lion is beside the river. The boy is sleeping beside his mother. The girl is sitting beside her mother. So here children you have understood the usage of the preposition beside. Now we will understand the preposition into. The cat jumped into the box. The frog jumped into the pond. He dropped the toy into the bucket. The boy jumped into the pool. Now the preposition into must be clear to all of you. Yes students. So now we will understand the preposition near. The cat is sitting near the table. The pen is lying near the fruit basket. The lamp is lying near the bed. The teacher is standing near the pole. The bench is lying near the river. I hope you all have understood the preposition near. Now we will understand the preposition above. The lamp is hanging above the table. The chandelier is hanging above the dining table. The grapes are hanging above the ground. Children, you have seen the usage of all the prepositions and you have understood it well. I hope the topic is clear. Now we will understand the preposition around. The earth revolves around the sun. Everybody is sitting around the bonfire. Now the preposition inside. The cat is inside its house. I am going inside the mall. I am going inside the car. He is going inside the school. Yes students. Now the preposition outside. The cat is outside. I am waiting outside the school. The rat is coming outside its burrow. Now I hope children the preposition outside is clear to all of you. Through all the examples the usage is also clear. Now we will understand in front of. The cat is standing in front of the mirror. She is standing in front of the mirror. He is standing in front of the curtain. They are standing in front of the picture. He is standing in front of the clock. Now, towards. The cat is going towards the rat. I am going towards the school. He is going towards the train. He is coming towards me. Now, children, the various prepositions is clear. Now, we will understand the preposition through. The cat cannot pass through the hole. He cannot pass through the obstacle. Children, I hope the various prepositions are clear to all of you and you have understood the topic well. Yes, students. So now you will be able to do all the exercises given in your workbook correctly. Okay. So thank you so much, students. Take care. Bye-bye.